Now on Cult America, I once visited the battle scars of Warsaw, but on today's episode, I'd like to see what parts of Warsaw remain untouched. Now the Church of St. Augustine is a remarkable example of a structure which survived the Second World War. If you look at photos of this region, it's just rubble imposed by this church tower. Now the building found itself inside of the Jewish ghetto, which meant that its parish could no longer access the building. It became a warehouse to store goods stolen from the Jews and later served as a machine gun nest for German Nazis. Catholics must have been pretty excited because people tried to exploit this building for every purpose other than the worship of their God. And at the end of the day, when the rest of the city was in rubble, this building stood strong. Tucked subtly inside of the Warsaw skyscraper district, visitors can find the Orthodox Synagogue. This is the only synagogue in Warsaw to have survived the Second World War. Against miraculous odds, it stands here as a reminder of a huge community which once existed years ago. Imagine that this was built between 1898 and 1902. Seems so old, but yet so recent. This building is known as the House Without Edges, and it received some serious punishment during the Second World War. But amazingly, despite its location right outside the Warsaw Old Town, it survived mostly intact. Under close inspection, you can still see some of the bullet holes on this building today. St. Joseph Church gives a lot of insight as to just how much of a country's legacy can be contained within the walls of a building. It was here that Frederick Chopin played the organ. Think what would have been lost had the building been destroyed. Think of how much was lost in the other buildings that were destroyed. Like the sole survivor of a plane crash, Hotel Bristol stood tall and practically unscathed when the rest of this area was a wasteland. When you stop to think about it, it almost doesn't make sense. Now the Vilanov Palace was a place of noble heritage. And not only did it survive the Second World War, but the contents from within, which were stolen by German soldiers, have since been repatriated. The power of the architecture inside of this palace, as the other buildings that I visited today, are on parallel to what we see in modern construction. And I think that it underlines how much had truly been lost here in Warsaw during the Second World War. But what has not been lost is the power and the strength of the people who rebuilt their city. I'd like to end this video with a personal observation. When I compare original Warsaw architecture that I've seen today with reconstructed buildings in Warsaw, the discrepancy is minimal. Poles have rebuilt their city to be noble, powerful, amazing. All of the things that encompass what it means to be Polish.